Welcome back to Life at a Startup. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, I am not in the mood to record a video, but here I am doing it because I do believe that we should do things that we don't necessarily want to do, um, especially if it's just whatever. I'm on four hours of sleep, so that's probably why. I landed at like 2.30 last night. Uh, well, I got home at like 2.30 in the morning and then got settled in. Let's see, what time did I fall asleep? Let's see. Fell asleep at 2.52, I woke up at 7.01. Uh, my watch is I got four hours and seven minutes of sleep. Um, so it's 10.30, I'm leaving the office. I have been studying all night. <clears throat> I have like um, like 389 more practice questions. And then I'm just gonna start, um, 389 more practice questions and then I'm just gonna, I don't know, just keep testing I guess I've ugh, I've taken so many tests it's ridiculous but I'm starting to get a little anxious I'm just trying to decide what to do about my testing date I'm just getting a little anxious about it I do not want to fail there's like it's like if I fail I have to wait 30 days but if I like if I postpone it then I can buy myself like four more study days but I don't like I'm really confident but like this tonight wasn't my best study night in terms of test scores so I don't really know what happened. I might just be on four hours of sleep and that might be the problem. So yeah, hopefully I'm gonna try to regroup tonight and get some sleep. So let's see, if I'm in bed, if I'm asleep in the next few minutes, that's 11, that's 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, six forty-five, seven. I can get, if I'm asleep in the next 20 minutes, I can get almost eight hours of sleep, which should help put me in a better mood. It should help. I mean, I, my mood is fine, but for whatever reason, I didn't have the best test scores tonight. So I don't really know. <clears throat> I'm just tired. So it's my fault. Um, I'd been eating really clean for the last like three weeks until tonight. Um, I ate fast food for one of the first times. I don't know. I thought it would help me like but clear this brain fog, but it did quite the opposite. I don't know what I was thinking. I regretted it immediately as I as soon as I bought it, um, and it made my stomach upset too. I know this, this is a lot of complaining, all right, but this is life at a startup. This is life at a startup while working a full night shift, okay? So keep that in mind. Like, because I could, like, work went great, everything's going great, but I also have these goals that I'm trying to hit, and it's extremely hard for me. Um, I had, I tested all weekend, I got great scores, I was very happy with them. And then I went to a new testing platform and I've kind of just had to like relearn. I don't know, it's not, I'm not having to relearn things. It's just like the questions are asked a slightly different way. So I'm just learning how they're asked. Um, and so I just gotta button it up a little bit, get my, let's just say 400 questions done tomorrow and start taking full exams. And then I can uh, make a decision. It's just dumb, I wish I was, 100% confident. This today I kept saying I was confident, and then I just took a I took a big test tonight and didn't do my best on it. Didn't I had, my score wasn't the best. Anyways, I'll stop complaining about that. Uh, work's going great. Um, the days kind of fly by. Mondays, I mean, just catching up on the weekend stuff. Um, so Kevin went to go check out one of our properties. One of uh, a property we're interested in today. Uh, it was the eclipse, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you can't really see a lot of the totality from where we are here in Ventura, but you can still see like the different kind of leaves and stuff, so that was cool. Um, I watched a podcast with probably like one of my childhood heroes, Taysom Hill, and he never does podcasts, so it was cool to watch that one. It's, uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts, I make podcasts, and that was one of my top five favorite podcasts. So if you guys want to listen to it, Go check it out. It's Taysom Hill with Casey Baugh, B-A-U-G-H. And it's fantastic. I love it. It's football. It's, it's Jesus. It's spiritual. It's everything. So um, that was fun to listen to while I was studying. Uh, I, don't, I think I look like I've gotten four hours of sleep. It's just, let's just go home and go to sleep. But there's nothing wrong. Everything's great. I just want to be test. I, I just want to be not missing a single question, you know. Um, but what's gonna do? So, getting better. 
Um, let's lock it down. And we're gonna have a great week. We're gonna have a great week. So, yeah, that's what we gotta do. So I hope you guys have, I, yeah, I'm trying to think of something, that, so I feel like I complained this whole vlog. Um, I gave you guys that podcast that I, that I think you guys should listen to because it's one of my favorite. But I'm trying to think, what else? Something that's important that Kevin has talked about is the whack-a-mole theory. So he told us about, he told the team about one of the, it was, it was like, the way he did it was like, I'll never forget the way he taught us this. And it's just like the setting. Uh, he just like, I normally run our 8 a.m. meetings. They kind of just like go over the itinerary of the day, the goals, like what do we need to accomplish? And like Kevin hops in and like asks questions and assigns tasks that he wants to prioritize different things around. But I'm, for the most part, I normally leave the 8 a.m. meetings. Um, but there was this one day he led the 8 a.m. meeting and he just stood up, he's like, I want to teach you guys something really important. Like, let's call, I don't even, he didn't even call it the whack-a-mole theory, but that's what I'm going to call it with you guys. He was like, so when I bought one of my first house, there was like a lot of moles and you, they would just pop up. And if you try to like get rid of the holes, they would pop up somewhere else. Like the moles, like the little moles just wouldn't leave the yard, the landscaping. They just kept making more holes. And every time you try to cover it up or like fill it with poison, like they'd figure it out and they would they were just like super smart and they were like almost impossible to get rid of. Um, but he's like, you had to like actually get to the root of the problem. You had to remove the mole from the yard. You couldn't just keep patching the holes because the holes would keep popping up. Um, and that's something that I've actually really taken to heart is solving the core issue rather than just trying to like bury the little mole hill or fill the little mole hill up or the little mole hole up. And <clears throat> that that it, the principle is just solve the underlying issue don't just put a band-aid on it right like you're not going to put a band-aid on an infection now that, that might sound like a little extreme and a little gross but um if you have something wrong it's, you solve the underlying issue don't just try to like topically topically uh solve it because the likelihood that that issue returns is quite high so that was a lesson that kevin had explained to us and he's like when you guys are doing real estate don't just like when we're working on these issues that pop up like let's focus on solving the core issue and not just like putting temporary band-aids on things not that we normally do uh he was just teaching us like when it comes to like doing like solving 10 issues all the way through and not just like the temporary things so i thought that was good advice by him uh, it also just goes with like our documentation like hey um if if you see like it was just a company-wide thing that all the way through, whether it was in our real estate, in our systems and procedures, just make sure that we, like, if we see something, address the core problem and not just, like, that one little thing. Um, and to me, that was helpful, and it's helped me maintain a better perspective of setting good foundations. But other than that, that um, was pretty much the day. I talked to Kevin um, quite a bit this afternoon. Uh, I didn't get to see him this week, and so it was fun to catch up with him. Uh, after work so hopefully I can get some good rest tonight I'll can be asleep in the next 15 minutes um, and I can get some banging scores tomorrow on my test and we'll be in a much better mood not that I'm in a bad mood I'm just tired that's it um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching